Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're playing a legendary Iron Man difficulty of better one of the mod. Uh, I invite you into the game in month number seven as we're still battling on North and South American soil. Today it's Operation Lazy Peak, which is actually probably going to be a mission that we cannot really win. <sighs> we only deployed uh, low level um, troopers and only four of them so shinobi gunner spark and specialist which in itself is a kind of well-rounded team but with the increase of difficulty spike in 12 enemies here mm, i'm not sure i mean we had a couple of um, rescue missions but their difficulty was pretty hard and i'm not sure if i can do it with four so we're probably not going to be successful but we can still give it a shot let's go and we're right in the game, let's go! Alright, we got six potential soldiers which we need to get out of here. Fortunately, it's a gigantic map. Gigantic maps always mean we need to run for a very, very long time. And that's never a good sign. So, rule number one and that's going to be probably the only rule for for this here is we cannot lose concealment at least not not anytime soon it's going to be so important to keep it or in other words if we're going to lose concealment this is probably over As soon as we are losing concealment, the timer is going to start and I'm pretty worried about the reinforcements that we're going to fight. They usually, they tend to be very, very strong. So our idea would be to take the high ground here as far as we can and then probably take the fight here in the streets free the rookies and get the hell out of here not sure if we can sneak in probably not Okay, this here looks as if there is no pack on top. Of course, they could be standing here. Let's not play too risky. This here is good enough for now. Alright, we're moving pretty fast, so that's the good news. The bad news is it'll take a damn long time to get out of here once we have the rookies. Hmm. Twelve enemies. Okay, the only hope now is that the enemies themselves are like minor packs. I'm hoping for a couple of drones. And basically normal soldiers. All right, no one. That's not too bad. I mean, I could go over the rooftop. There is an entrance here. Essentially drop down and then get them out of here. Uh, what, what? 24 hit points? Holy shit. Well, that must be the next level of captain. 24 hit points. That's a lot. Good copy. Moving on target. Enemy sighted. Hmm. 
18 hit points on a grenadier yep and we do have suboptimal weapons at best Taking positions again, still in concealment, and we should keep it that way for now. Um, I beg your pardon, and Andromedon. Well, <laughs> and two drones, just to make it not too obvious. Well, these are easy. Two, that's two, five, eight. It was ten to twelve, so there's definitely another pack. This pack here is brutal. But one advantage that we do have is can avoid the, uh, their gaze by basically going up here probably need to sneak this mission I don't think that I have the firepower to actually withstand the full out uh, full-fledged um, onslaught which also means putting our mech as far away from the drones as possible. Mechs cannot take cover, which means as soon as um, the drones are flying a bit closer, they would discover us, uh, whilst the soldiers still can take cover. So I would even go as far as to move here. We can still uh, move back. It's not a problem. Scanning. Overwatch. Steady our weapon. It's a bit of a different approach to the mission, but when it comes to those sorts of missions, with experience also kind of comes the insight whether or not you are even capable of taking a battle. So we haven't heard anyone move, right? It's a bit dangerous, I want to see. We haven't heard anyone climbing up, which we would have seen because uh, this here is the ladder. They could have theoretically moved up here, but that's unlikely. Moving on target location. They're still in their old position. Okay, hmm, good. So I'm thinking. They are definitely in their old position. Both of both of the sites are risky. Like we could go to here open it up and then just slide our way out could even run alongside this wall which is probably not a bad idea to be honest so let's take this position Understood. Moving out. and hope that they haven't heard us and they wouldn't come back not yet. Overwatch. Overwatch. And definitely an Overwatch. Whew. 
equal golden. Hacking. Come on, Saiken. Well, let's do this. Come on, PCS. No, we're going to go for extra intel. Not that I really think we are going to be able to get it. Good. And we got revealed. Before we sacrifice any anyone here, hmm, how do we get out of here? Yeah, no, taking the high route. <laughs> Almost feels like a high, uh, like a heist. We're just getting everyone out. Man is left behind. And even if they kill a couple of rookies, I think we're still fine. So if we, we just need to run, run like there is no tomorrow. Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. And if we're lucky and they are not aggroing on us, we might even be able to like get out of here without a problem. <sighs> They're just standing there. It seems to work. I love it. Location confirmed. I'm trying to not let anyone stand in front of the window. So far, we've been undetected. Got an overwatch trap. No one knows where we are. And we can just run out. I'm feeling great, guys, because I wouldn't have thought that that actually would work. What a sick plan. Mind you, even with complete running out of here, the reinforcements are already almost there.
Okay. Time to move back. Face this one? No. The game stopped for just a second and I was wondering, wow, did I really hit a face this one? Luckily, we did not. I'm all over it. <laughs> the great escape. Are they going to make it? Well, I can tell you the answer for the XCOM agents. That is, hell yeah, they're going to make it. See you later, suckers. I'm not going to risk anyone. At least not from the team. Everything else is bonus. In true heroic fashion, they are exiting the battlefield first. Good. We literally don't have any guns left now. But power numbers, one of them will at least make it. Unless the Andromedon just like teleports in and AOE attacks everyone. Calvin, 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 it seems you are falling behind. No one wants to be the weakest link. Trust me, my friend. That might that might be a very, very bad situation for you. Oh yeah, Calvin is fucked. Reinforcements are going to come in next round. Calvin, my man. Chances of you to get out of here are dwindling. And he triggered the pack. Well, <laughs> Calvin, now it's up to you and Arn Jesus whether or not you're going to get out of here. Is the stun going to hit? Oh, Calvin, you are definitely going to be effed. Yeah, that was pretty damn good. We got four out of five, I think, or five out of six. They continue to disorient Calvin. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. 
Told you, buddy. The moment that you took that hit, you were easy, you were starting to be easy prey. Sorry, Calvin. Rest in peace. And in case you're wondering, Psyken, why haven't you just killed a couple of them? Yes, technically you could, but the mission experience is much higher in Long War, which means we have, uh, we have not wasted a lot of willpower, we can redeploy the troops immediately, and everyone got a promotion, so there's nothing wrong with that. Great, we got Lunchbox here. What a fitting name. We wanted to make her kind of a gunner, and that's okay. Oh no, we wanted to let her be kind of the Overwatch uh, specialist. Um, yeah, Center Mass definitely is a good idea. Then, I mean, I like Formidable, it's really, really good. The lockdown is great for overwatch shots. Mayhem clearly is great for overwatch shots. Cool under pressure, Guardian. She got it all. So yeah, let's make her an overwatch gunner. I am considering that because it is good for repositioning. It's not the greatest attack in itself, but if she has the option to reposition, that would be huge. So yeah, that's a that's an interesting build. I wanted to do an Overwatch gunner um, for a longer time. Yeah, and for him, I mean, we can go into the whole kind of scouting uh, thing. Sure. By the way, I read um, a mechanical article about tradecraft, and I'm starting to value this trade higher because essentially, if you have tradecraft on a character, um, it it only adds a really marginal increase to your infiltration time. So the way you can see it is the character kind of comes on uh, comes to the mission for free, so to speak. And that's really a powerful skill if you think about it that way. Hit and run is definitely good and whirlwind is also absolutely good. Um, you know, I mean I could see the need for kind of kind of this um, the stealth like character, but I still think for the melee skills are busted enough, specifically Blade Storm, competitiveness to ignore mutants and so on, and just the extra attack. So I just think their melee attack route is this, this, and this. Even without Reaper, already make the class quite viable. And the weapon is cheap, so if you know how to use melee attacks, and I'm starting to get the hang of it, then, then yeah, that's the right way of skilling it. If you just want it as a scout, clearly Ghost Walker isn't bad, Covert isn't uh, bad, and Conceal clearly is great once you have it. But my argumentation for this guy, uh, for this guy would be: we're starting with melee, fair enough, and then we might go for tradecraft and Conceal. Who knows? Rapid fire, definitely good, but if you already have a strong attack, well, then, then, then you don't necessarily need it. Maybe we're just using the standard melee build and go for whirlwind and say effort. Okay, we wanted to uh, make him kind of the piercing nightmare. Adaptive aim, no penalties, and now I think we're going for shredder and holo targeting. Just so that it uh, the 
um, the mech can hit better and harder. So we're skipping the defensive talents. Probably still taking repair because it just increases the self repair. Yeah, and then we're going to see where we're taking it from there. Okay, this is a standard medic build, so definitely the the right uh, choices here. We could go for four additional points of healing. It's not bad. I like it. Uh, it has certainly helped us uh, with the uh, with the um, with the healing quite a bit. Failsafe is also good. I like. Um, I like that you don't uh, incur any negative penalties. On the other hand, my argumentation the last time was if you know what you're doing, you already have a pretty damn good chance and don't need to be afraid about um, failsafe. So we're going the standard route with her. Hard target, definitely a really good skill. Um, Five dodge per enemy that you can see, specifically in larger firefights. Not bad. Traverse fire certainly is also good. And yeah, like I said, tradecraft, fantastic skill. Not sure if uh, she's going to see the Master Sergeant uh, rank. Probably, since we have a lot of missions ahead of us. Let's go for hard target and probably then trade craft. Overall solid mission and we got a lot of rookies too. Plus a couple of um, support staff. Oh, by the way, before I forget it. I think we can build a defense matrix. Defense just out of my experience, you know, you absolutely appreciate it when you are getting shut down because it's, it's essentially free help and a massive amount of free help. Let's shortly visit the black market because we need 150 supplies. Gosh, we have a lot of stuff. Oh, PC is hacking. Yeah, sure, you can have that. No problem. Easy. We got so much, uh, so much stuff. But that is wonderful. We have deep pockets at the moment, and at the end of this month, our income will skyrocket. So for once, we're going to be rich. Nine days for a scientist. That's exactly the type of mission that I was looking for. Really low baseline. Can field four to six, so five to six soldiers. Let's use that as a trainings mission. Good, I put a team together, a rookie team. I probably have overdone it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, almost a bit too much. You know what? It doesn't matter, it's okay. Um, so we got our uh, assault who's using rifles. Oh, shit, I wanted to give him a shotgun. Never mind. Good, there we go. Um, this specialist, um, this assault here is going to use, uh, is going to be specialized with the Shocker build. We got our Shinobi from just the last mission. We got uh, Chavez here, who was carrying the shotgun himself. He's going to be the... Um, the flamer specialized uh, technician and i'm going to be interested to see how he's going to 
uh, deal. We upgraded his gauntlet, so that should be fine. We got our sniper here. She's uh, going to be... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to go with the standard sniper build. Probably a little deviation. We got the mech here, uh, the uh, tertium, tertium mech, which essentially is kind of a midfield damage dealer. We got lunchbox. It's going to be our Overwatch suppressor, uh, our suppressor, and we got our Overwatch uh, focused uh, leader of the pack called Shakes, and she still doesn't have medical healing, so that's why I took a second, um, a second med pack with us. Should be more than enough to deal with nine enemies. But who knows, maybe it's a honeypot mission and they were just trying to lure us in. In that case, a little bit more firepower is certainly appreciated. And to be honest, again, after the last mission where we needed to infiltrate with only four people, I welcome overpowering forces on our side much more than uh, not having enough men fielded. Lieutenant Edgar Alien Poe and Outrider both got their abilities, their leadership abilities. So if we now go to officer training, we can continue with Edgar Alien Poe. Either two uh, turns cooldown uh, cool uh, reduction on the um, Sky Ranger, which is great. Or general quicker time for infiltration. I think we're taking the infiltration time. Sky Ranger assumes that you already F it up. Yeah, for her, the, we, we can take the bonus here. It's not as great as, for instance, for Edgar Alien Poe. Because she's not going to sit with the troops regularly. But still, a bonus is a bonus. And the command range is relatively large. I think 15 or 16 fields. Let's shortly double check. We have no... Idle personnel, everyone here is on supplies. Ah, oh, look at that. There is the first idle person. And there is the next idle person. Let's take a look at our scientists. Fortunately, don't have another one. Good, we're going all out on Intel. Now that we are fully recruited, which means we're also going to get more missions in New Brazil. They are still recruiting. And here we basically freed the additional support staff. Which, interestingly enough, brings it up to 13. Maybe 12 wasn't the maximum. I thought always 12 was the maximum. I might have been wrong. Maybe it was 14. Anyways, we got 13 here now. Yeah, and that's going to be uh, our next mission. We pretty much got a, got a top team. But I need to make the, intelli uh, the intelligent call whether or not I want to fight against 24 enemies or if we're going to pay a few points of intel in order to reduce uh, that to a more moderate level. Operation Demon Hand, guys. Uh, it's going to happen the next time. And it's one that we need to win because we want to hinder Advent Operation here. So...
It's part of the liberation chain, which is quite important. As always, thank you for the attention and for being my guest today. If you have enjoyed the content, consider leaving a like um, or a subscription or a comment down below. That would be much appreciated and see you the next time. Bye bye.